Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to my tutorial on importing uh, static meshes from Autodesk through S Max to Unreal. Alright, the first thing we need to do is we need to create the mesh. So we can use, I'm going to use a geosphere. Okay. Alright, so you need to apply a material. Now remember, this is a static mesh. Uh, we'll have a tutorial coming up later on using an, an animated mesh uh, once the uh, model is completed. Alright, so once we've applied the material, um, all we have to do is export it over um, for our Unreal to use. So go ahead and file export. Make sure you use the ASCII scene export. I'm going to call this test sphere. Save it. Um, these are the settings you need to use. Mesh definition materials, uh, geometry types, and you also need to export the mesh normals and mapping coordinates. Okay. Okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to go Unreal. I've already made a nice simple little scene. If you don't make a scene, it uh, places the object directly where your camera is. So go to our content browser. Okay. Import. Scroll down. Select our test sphere. Open. I'm gonna call this tutorial mesh. Then I'm gonna hit OK. And it's done. Then I'm gonna drop it onto the scene. I'm gonna scale it up a little bit. Sorry, <laughs> I already have the content browser. I'm going to go ahead and drop a new uh, material to that. And I'm going to go ahead and rebuild the lighting real quick. Should take but a second. Um, but yes, like I was saying, um, look for next week for having a animated mesh tutorial. Alright, I'm going to jump in game. As you can see, we can walk through it. All right. Go on ahead and select default collision. Ah, well. Um, one second. I'm gonna remember what is exactly needed. Oh, right, of course. Open up the static mesh editor, go to collision, type in auto convex collision, hit apply, wait a bit. Should be done. Okay. Alright. Alright. One thing while we're already in here, let's go ahead and change the default uh, material. Go to body setup. No. Okay, sorry. Um, yes, LOD info. I'll go all the way down to where you have material. Select whatever material you want. I'm going to go in and choose the one we already had before. Click the little arrow. Alright. I'm going to go back to the content browser. Drop another cube in. And I'll leave that one alone. And now we should, oh, we have collision on our static meshes. So that concludes this tutorial. Uh, thank you.